Good morning, traders. Welcome to another episode of Trader Talk. Uh, we had a very important day in the markets yesterday. We had the ECB meeting. Uh, Draghi tried to talk down the euro, but the market wasn't having any of it. Actually, looking at the upbeat economic forecast. Uh, and looking forward to the next meeting at, at, at September, where likely we're going to see uh, the tapering uh, plan outlined uh, beginning in December. That's the market expectation. So the euro broke uh, previous highs here, uh, broke above 115. Uh, the break there uh, is, is where the enter is here on this trade. Now, why we entered there is that if it does break 116, it's likely to go significantly higher. It's broken now above last year's high. If you look at the uh, level there. Um, consolidating since last night, a little bit of, of two-way movement, but um, you know, profit taking is very normal after a large move like this. It's just the outlook now, technically and fundamentally, is for higher levels. The risk to this trade is if we get a clarification from the ECB. Very common if they're not happy with the market's movement to come out with a clarification in the next couple of days. So uh, you misunderstood um, uh, Draghi's comment, and you know something uh, dovish to accompany that that can get the market selling again. If that doesn't happen, then uh, we will be pushing probably to the top side here, uh, looking for more significant resistance, which would be first coming in at the 2015 high, uh, all the way back uh, here at 117, 117.10. All right, the other big move in the market yesterday was after the Australian jobs numbers, there was a sharp reversal market ran out of steam going into uh, the 80 cent level and that was common uh, even though the, the numbers were very strong uh, the market ran out of steam here as uh, it had an almighty rally you know three 300 pips there in the lead up to that number uh, now the market's really concerned here that the RBA is about to change its path and go in a more hawkish uh, rate hiking cycle start the prepare the market for rate hikes if that happens we may get a clues from the uh, RBA Central Bank members speaking today. There's two of them coming out at uh, 1.45 and 2.10 um, Australian Eastern, Eastern Time, so that's Singapore time. You will uh, be able to uh, sense the RBA's concern at the Aussie dollar being so high if they try to talk it down, or if they don't, uh, then they, pass it, they have a tacit endorsement there that the market is correct and that the especially the bond market, which is suggesting that uh, rate hikes are coming perhaps even as as soon as november all right guys so in terms of what else to look out for today um in in terms of economic data there isn't too much uh to get excited about uh on the economic data front into the weekend uh, probably the best thing to be watching is to see whether the euro was to kick on uh, straight away or whether there is uh, something coming out to to slow down the market's expectation uh, but other than that there is some data from uh, canadian uh, from Canada, uh, important data, the inflation data. Uh, remember that, that we actually had rate hikes in Canada uh, uh, last month and that uh, the market's looking for inflation to see whether it is remaining strong or, or picking up. Uh, it's supposed to have a slight pullback in inflation there, so uh, we'll see if that comes through. The, the Canadian uh, dollar has strengthened considerably, uh, which usually does uh, lower your inflation as the cost of goods that you're importing is lowered. All right, guys, we'll be back on Monday at the same, uh, same time. Uh, you can get us in the same channel as well. Uh, if you want more information about Easy Markets, look at the links below. You'll be able to get yourself a personal FX dealer like myself.